Okay, we're gonna pick up where we left off from Alex and we're gonna do the purge and the alarm verification next. Uh, we do have gas still in the circuit. We turn the gas on and then we turned it off. Okay, so we leave up there. Remember our tank is turned off. That's why we're purging the circuit. We still have a flow of 10 liters a minute that's coming to our oxygen tubing from the E-cylinder. Okay, you have to have a flow. And now we're gonna turn our dosing up to 40 parts per million, okay? You can just close that. All that alarm is telling you is that your tank is closed, okay? Which is very helpful if you're actually dosing a patient, but in this situation, we're just checking the alarms um, and we're, we're, we're purging the system of the gas. So we're just gonna hit silent on there. Um, at this point, you'll notice that your, your nitric oxide will go up and then it'll come down. And if you look at your actual tank and your pressure gauge, you'll see that your pressure is actually dropping, okay? Now, if your pressure doesn't drop, that's letting you know that you have your tank on and it's not turned off. And you'll just have a continuous um, flow of nitric oxide, which in this situation is not good because we won't get our alarms to sound. What you're looking for on your monitor is the alarm that says NO, N2 is low, NO2 is low, and you'll see it pop up right now in a second. Okay, low NO, N2 pressure, cylinder valve is closed. So at this point, you can go ahead and hit your silence, and now we're gonna turn our dosing off. And I'm just gonna clear out the alarms. Okay, so that concludes our purge and alarm verification. Next, we're gonna do the backup delivery test. And this is your backup delivery test. Okay, so what all, all that you have to do in this situation is you turn it on. Okay, now it's telling us that our tanks are not turned on, which they have to be turned on to do these tests. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my tank on. Tank is turned on. And you know that because you have a little green uh, icon on the top of the tank. And now I'm actually administering my backup delivery test. I still have my flow going at 10 liters a minute. And if I look at my little reference card, it should give me an NO of 14 to 26. So according to our reference card, our nitric oxide should read between 14 and 26. And when it gets between 14 and 26, you can go to the next step. And our next step is just completing the performance test. So make sure you turn this off. This is your backup test, so turn the backup off. If you don't turn the backup off and you continue on to your performance test, which is the next step where we're gonna dose, and we're gonna dose 40 parts per million, I'm just gonna show you what that looks like, okay? So I have my performance test running. If I turn on my backup delivery test, I'm now double dosing, which is really bad. So I'm gonna turn that off, okay? I just corrected it. If you do not correct that quickly, you'll actually fail the whole machine and you'll have to start from scratch. So it's important that we don't do that, okay? Now, according to my cheat card or my little um, pre-use checkout card, the test will conclude when I reach an NO of 35 to 45. We're already there. My NO2 has to be less than 1.5 parts per million. We're already there. And my oxygen has to be 95% plus or minus 3%, so we're already there. So we're done with that test. It's very quick. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set this to zero. We're done with that. And finally, okay, so this is just saying that the uh, my cylinder is on. Again, this is just another safe, safety measure. And really it's it's so that we don't incur um, high costs. And we don't leave our tank on. And I know my tank is on, so I'm just gonna bypass that. Okay. So the last test we're gonna do is checking the blender. Okay, so this is the blender performance test. And what we're doing for this test 
is I'm taking my O2 connection that I had from the e-cylinder and I'm bringing that to the blender, okay? Because we want all of our flow and all of our dosing to come from the blender. Now remember, this is a blender, so it has to have two gas sources. So on the back, you have, and I'll quickly show you, you have your oxygen inlet for your uh, blender, and then on the opposite side, you have your nitric oxide for your blender. So you're getting a blend, uh, a blend of oxygen and nitric oxide because you have to have that flow. Now make sure that your nitric oxide is coming up here and it's connected, okay? I'm tugging on that and it's not letting go, so that's connected. So we're gonna start our blender performance test. And according to our cheat card here, they want us to set it at 10 liters a minute and at 40 parts per million, okay? Just like we did our performance test. So it's set at 40, I got 10 liters a minute. That 10 liters is just a flow. Remember, we're giving oxygen, it's 10 liters of flow, and I'm dosing 40 parts per million. <clears throat> and we're just waiting for our numbers to come up. But it's very quick. This machine is very quick at, um, at our performance test. And according to our cheat card here, accept acceptable range is 32 to 48, and you'll see we're already at 36, so that's really quick. Now once you get to this point, you can turn everything off. I'm gonna turn off my dosing first. I'm gonna turn off my flow next. I'm gonna take this and disconnect it. Put it back on my e-cylinder. <clears throat> once we're done, once we're done and we're here, we're gonna turn off the tank. <clears throat> okay. So I turned off the tank and we're on standby. Once you have the machine on standby, you can have it like this on standby for 12 hours. It's up, up to 12 hours. It's probably more than that, but the only thing we want you to do is for 12 hours. Anything more than that, we should do the calibration again. Uh, the last thing you gotta do, though, is to make sure that you purge the circuit. So I'm gonna check the back of the machine, and I'm gonna look at where the inlet uh, line is going to the machine from our tank. I'm gonna disconnect that, and you just push on it slightly, it pops out and I'm gonna let out all the excess gas and you'll hear it. And you can reconnect that so everything's ready to go. <clears throat> now your machine is on standby, you don't have any gas in your line and really the purpose of taking that gas out of your line is because the gas will get stagnant and if it gets stagnant and you go ahead and you hook your patient on, it's been over an hour or so, you're gonna have a, a huge buildup of nitric oxide and it will actually send all your numbers very high and it may fail your system, so you'll, you'll have to do your calibration over again. So you wanna make sure you bleed that out before you set it on the, actually, at this point, you wanna bleed it out, not when you set it up on the patient. And that concludes our nitric oxide pre-use check.